Hello and welcome to another episode of Mitsubishi Mastered. Uh, today's video we're going to be looking at simulation function of not only GX Works 3 for the PLC, but also GT Designer 3 for the HMI. Uh, the beauty of this is it allows you to fully simulate an application uh, without the need for real hardware. Let's begin. The first step we're going to do is open up one of the project files we did in a previous video, uh, just a basic project. One thing to note, uh, down in the lower right hand corner, we'll see the name host. Um, that will always tell us what GXWorks 3 is trying to connect to. In this case, host by default um, would be our default connection. So if we double click on connection, Ethernet 192.168.3.55 is our PC. Um, and it's basically trying to do a direct connection to the PLC. Uh, we're not going to do that today. What we are going to do is go to debug and simulation and then start simulation. Uh, so this is, again, we're pretending we don't have any real hardware. Uh, we're telling the laptop to uh, simulate the hardware. It downloads the project file and now we have a simulated environment. Uh, so you can see here GXWorks 3 little logo. We can see the power, green light for the power and the run button. If I would hit stop, then the program would run. I could hit run button that's simulating the switch, the physical switch on the PLC, um, or I could reset the whole PLC. Down in the lower right hand corner, you can see now we are in simulation mode. Um, when we have this, then we can actually come to our watch window, turn this on, start watching and see the status. So in this case, I turn the, the M0 to true, I can turn it off and that Y0 is still latched in. If I add M1 and turn this on, that does our reset, turn that back off, and now we're back to the original uh, condition. Uh, so you can see very quickly we can uh, simulate our code and see what would happen. Now, if we want to match this up to the HMI, we can do that also very easily. Let's open up the HMI project. Again, this is the same HMI project we used in the previous video. Um, in this case, we'll come to Tools and then Simulator. And there's some uh, settings that we need to set uh, to tell it what to communicate with. And in this case, uh, we want to connect to an IQF PLC and we're going to use GX Simulator. So um, inside of GT Designer 3, if we wanted to simulate the HMI, we can either talk to the simulator for the PLC or we could talk to a real PLC over RS-232 or USB connection. Uh, but in this example, we're just going to simulate both the PLC and the HMI, so we'll choose GX3 Simulator. Um, there's some other settings in here. I'm not going to go into the details. There's things we can modify, but we just want to do basic. So we'll say OK. And now we can go back to Tools, Simulator, and activate that. And now what that's going to do is turn our laptop into a simulated GOT. And in the same way, we can hit the start button here, which turned on M0. So we see Y0 on the output and then reset to reset that. Um, if we want to see that in the PLC logic, we can do that as well. So we're still monitoring. Again, down here in the lower right hand corner, we see simulation. So we're monitoring the simulation. We turn this on. We can see M0 turned on. Y0 turned on, it latched it in, and now we can reset that. So you can see how very easy, quick and easy it is to simulate the PLC, simulate the HMI code, even if we don't have any physical hardware. And that concludes uh, the video. Thanks again for watching another episode of Mitsubishi Electric Automation Mastered, where we show how quick and easy it is to become a master of Mitsubishi Electric Industrial Controls. Thanks and have a great day.